Where have they gone? That is the question that we are asking today as we check in with Wachter, a VTuber agency that is expanding in Japan, China, and South America, and that leading to their Wachter Espanol VTubers. Starting off here with Misora Hina, arguably one of the biggest Spanish-speaking VTubers around, having last year taken part in numerous high-profile collaborations, and then ringing in the new year, saying that this hour calls for cereal. And unfortunately, we have not seen this VTuber since. That's right, no other tweets, no other streams for a full month now. Also in Walker Espanol, we have Luna Rorine, self-described as a multilingual wolf master who's now been gone for 10 days. And also with Walker ES, we have Neon Kuroyori, having now not streamed for nine days. Having only just returned to streaming at the time of this recording and further updating us, we also have a, another member of Walker Espanol, that being Hamia de Almaria. Yesterday tweeting out, I know these are difficult times for everyone, but I want to make an effort for you to make you laugh and to distract you for even just a moment. Plus, I feel like I need you guys a lot. Also, my Kohai need that support, so I'm going to try to be a better senpai for everyone. So yes, a number of strange and long hiatuses for VTubers that are very well known in the Spanish speaking VTuber community. In contrast, for instance, we have Phase Connect, or more specifically, Komachi Panko, aka The Punk receiving this full announcement from phase connect simply letting us know she's going to be on hiatus for a week complete with her follow-up saying i'll make sure to get back stronger than ever so that we can spend more fun times together thank you for your understanding in contrast with walker we have japanese talents of them that have now been missing in action for four months and even six months and so with this precedent many had been wondering where are the others well we did receive some explanation of sorts from luna sending out this tweet last week stating i'm going to take a break to improve my physical and mental health after having worked hard since my debut i hope to recover quickly so that i can share more time with you as soon as possible but also with some native spanish speakers saying this is a very strangely worded tweet not quite sounding like her and yes potentially sounding like it was written by someone else and somewhat chiming in on the situation we have eileen noir formerly shino lila with walk who had left the agency last March alongside two other members and had since had her name doxxed by Walker when they were replying directly publicly to her legal proceedings with them. In the past days, we've had Eileen tweeting out messages such as, silence is the way they trick you into believing that everything is okay, but in reality, nothing is okay. Along with, I just hope the world finally realizes what's under the rug. They can't hide it forever. That as Eileen would go on to to, quote retweet a voice tweet stating what a beautiful voice are you hurt falling from the sky my angel that almost sounding like she's talking about Hina's character and leading many to wonder if this is Hina's alternate account and then it gets more complicated as we also have Mitsurugi Lia responding to a question about missing and terminated members saying I had nothing to do with that perhaps you think I kicked out the members who quit I have no such power I just help out with small tasks and don't have any personal authority. And then it gets wilder, as somehow, some way, a rumor had reached Leah, stating that she was being favored by Wachter over others, this due to her sleeping with the CEO of the agency. Leah would then take to stream to address this directly, as she had believed these rumors were coming from fellow peers in the company, leaving her very shocked and surprised, stating even if one of the members had said that rumor is true, that's not proof of anything and then confusing some viewers going on to say there's no proof that i don't sleep with the ceo so you don't have to believe me but there's also no proof that i slept with the ceo so don't believe the rumors saying also that she believes other members get better treatment than her but when given the fact that she has received other upgrades that others have not saying she doesn't have an answer for that this particular member has been said to be at odds with current and past members of the agency an agency 
emergency that got even more attention due to information from Hanami at Mako Hanami, giving us this very informative thread and also taking a stream to describe how she became a VTuber and almost joined Wachter. Saying further, she was actually selected for one of Wachter's models. And then Hanami then described meeting Mei-chan, one of the heads of the agency, this being a video call to see the contract. Hanami then stated she knew right then and there that she had to quit the agency, effectively saying the contract gave them all of her freedoms without many guarantees and full of clauses that could get her into trouble, such as if you make a mistake and Wachter sees fit, you will be reported to the Japanese justice system for the amount of 5 million yen. Hanami then saying, I couldn't sign that. And so now with this particular agency, we are seeing numerous members having left, with Leah as the only remaining member of the first generation, Misora as the only member of the second generation if she returns, Luna the only remaining member of the third generation, again, if she returns, and we will of course follow up further if we hear more from Neon. Next up, we check in on Komori Met, a Japanese gamer VTuber whose profile today looks a little different. That as she had been with the fourth biggest Japanese VTuber agency, 774 Inc, aka Nanashi Inku. And in a huge surprise, we had news from VSPO, aka Vespo, the third biggest VTuber agency in Japan, announcing that Komori Met would be joining their roster. Yes, yeah, so this is something we have not seen very often, where an agency VTuber keeps their model and moves to another agency in a fully solid agreement between the two agencies. This move coming after Komori Met's unit within 774 had been disbanded, and with this particular VTuber being so close already to Vespo that she had actually hosted some of their events, more aligning with their gaming nature, she has been very thankful for all the help from Nanashi Inku, and is looking forward to growing further with Vespo in 2023. And oh, hey, look at that, it's Pink Cat, that's right, it's V-Shoujo's Natasha Nyaners, taking the stream to announce she's pregnant. This all while she was also on the verge of hitting 1 million followers on Twitch.tv, this being a very odd milestone for Nyaners, as back in early November, she was banned from Twitch.tv, and then upon returning, had 130,000 new members join her channel in only a single day. TBS had contacted V Shoujo about this at the time. They were not concerned as they were expecting Twitch to simply remove those followers. Three months later, they're still there. Nyaners would go on to talk about this before hitting the milestone. You're so close to 1 million followers? I don't even know if I actually am. I, I talked to Vsojo about it and they apparently like hit up uh, people who work at Twitch and they said that it's probably legit. I don't know. I just don't know whether to celebrate it or not. Like, am I actually getting to 1 million or am I actually at like 900 right now, you know? Wait, what? So they might not be followbots? According to people that they... That Visojo hit up that work at Twitch, they might not be. So once again, Twitch telling V Shoujo, those might not be follow bots. Then during the stream, Nyaners would go ahead and give birth to this adorable little ball of fluff. Oh, it's so cute and so Nyaners. That is just before Vebe came to the stream to tell her, you're on my preg turf, beesh. And yes, Nyaners would hit 1 million followers during this stream. But as she was fighting a boss in Elden Ring, she asked them to go ahead and unfollow at the time. And sure enough, they did, and the counter went down below a million just for her. And so then, after beating the boss, the actual counter then hit a million just as we had expected. That's right, Nyaners has a million followers, and it looks like that's going to stick. Or at the time when it occurred on the Nyaners channel, Twitch.tv reported it as 1,000k followers. Speaking of V Shoujo, very quickly, we have Silvervale, the cozy, wholesome gamer enjoying her brand new Ironside PC case, along with releasing a brand new song, Game Boy, alongside Ayiko, now available on Spotify. And next with V Shoujo, we have K-San. This weekend, teasing a brand new look and giving us this. Tweeted out properly by the main V Shoujo account and showing off this leathery new drip, complete with a chibi form. This new look coming from Iska, complete with jacketed and jacketless form 
platform. This new model rigged by Kevin X. Seen here in the only frame of the movie that we can show on YouTube.com as this is a very bouncy new model for Kason. That while Kason dropped on us this schedule for the week, including joining a dating show. This show set to be hosted by RPR, giving contestants the chance to later date Kason in VR chat. This dating show featuring numerous guests, including a certain British android Nako. Up next, we have the Streamer Awards, set to return March 11th, and bringing us now to V Shoujo's Iron Mouse. This morning saying thank you to everyone who sent me nice messages about nominating me for Best VTuber. That is very kind of you guys, honestly. Blows my mind that anyone thinks that about me at all. Many of these nominations kicking off from Connor, stating, I normally hate awards, but the Streamer Awards are a super cool event, and it would be an honor to get nominated for some of the awards. That then leading to the con man to nominate Mouse for Best VTuber. Yes, that's right. He chose the queen over the king. Connor further saying, please vote for the mouse for Best VTuber. She killed it this year and would never ask, so I will. That then leading to Mouse 10 minutes after her original tweet in the morning to notice where all this attention was coming from, replying, Connor WTF, no, you did not. I was getting all these nice messages and I'm like, where is this coming from? Then leading to Mouse to say, please nominate Connor. Also ignore that last image and the last sentence he wrote. This all while Mouse can be seen on this. Golden Week Made Cafe Acrylic Standees from V Shoujo. With one of these acrylics, including V Shoujo's Zentrea, posting up last night some tummy appreciation. And then later, this teaser, potentially alluding to a crossover of her current and older theming combined together sometime this year. And of course, we have time for Hall Live Production, apologizing again for yet another mislabeled piece of merch, letting us know a misprint has been found in the Iris first anniversary special mini album. That's right, a collector's item just became even more of a collector's item. As further with Hall Live Indonesia, we have Irony EO 15, now featuring this brand new Deco Nina and Hall Live collab artwork. But yes, take a look at that name to the right. Eofi saying, they got my name wrong. Hello, I'm Lofi. That as the lo-fi girl can be found here too. It's another Hall Live and Annie Plus collab, this time in a cafe in Singapore, beginning February 10th and featuring select members of Hollow Council, or in this case, Council Riss, alongside the first generation of Hall Live Indonesia. And of course, featuring very exclusive location only merchandise. That's not all, as Yofi was busy hanging out with Nanashi Mume of Hall Live English, with the two getting in officially with Pixiv. As Mume would say, there's a swimsuit contest going on over on Pixiv for Hall Live Summer. Yofi and I are going to design swimsuits today. And yes, swimsuits we did receive, including some more modest versions, as Yofi would give us Hall Live Indonesia Gen 3, including Kobo, Zeta, and the Penguin. That wasn't all, as there was a very, very risque version of another Hall Live Indonesia member that Eofi had created. And hell no, we can't show you here on YouTube.com. That being of Crazy Ollie, nearly fully stripped, but that as she was featured in her own Deco Nina artwork. This all while we prepare for the kimono costume reveal for all of Hall Live Indonesia coming up on February 3rd through 5th. This reveal kicking off with Ollie as she also brought us a major announcement. That's right, it's the Apex Minigames Tourney, with Ollie saying, I will be holding a Cross Branches Hall Live Production Apex Tourney. This has been my dream as Hall Live talent to play my favorite games together with my favorite people. This event kicking off on February 18th, while Ollie and Yofi will work as the hosts, loads of others in Hall Live will be joining, including those from Hall Live JP, Hall Live English, Hall Live Indonesia, and yes, Hollow Stars JP, and Hollow Stars EN. This invited some controversy as there is the possibility some of these girls may be playing with some of the boys who they've never even acknowledged. We're awaiting more clarification on that as we receive more information as that may not be the case. As Ollie would tweet out, first stream will be the Hall Live only session while the second stream will feature Hall Stars only session and the mix session. I'll be making another stream explaining the details but that will be after Kimono reveal. And most importantly we do have news that yeah us, Apex lover, Vestia Zeta will be working as emotional support. That is, we have been wonderfully supported by our co-host Lady, bringing us even more things VTubers say.
Thanks, Pulse. Shadow Kitsune Demon Rizoshi celebrates their one-year anniversary as of January 22nd, along with a new outfit reveal, hand-in-hand hand with the release of her first original song, Until That Memory Burns. She also releases a promotional trailer for her ongoing novel, Welcome to Shurene, with the full version coming soon. With full reference to her new design shown here, also drawn in this beautiful illustration done by Emo. So that's not all Rizoshi has up on her sleeve as she continues to plan out some new wardrobe pieces. Live 2D modeler and back pain expert Salty shares her latest work in progress on having a walking animation for a full Live 2D model showcased with the full physics and params done here. And speaking of Live 2D, we have Marinki who shares the first blob pack that they have ever made where you can customize and make your own blob VTuber straight in VTube Studio. With Marinki's talents in Live 2D getting the attention from both viewers and their cat, Magical Bear Princess Chloe vet ask you that if i was your garbage would you take me out or dump me well we know at least one person wouldn't dump her drawing clovet and all of her cheery nature from lobotomy bunny the best clown for the worst parties rokuko shares the most relatable tweet i've ever seen in my whole life but also showcases on how you can adapt if you do not have a 3d gun asset a png works just fine evil ice cap ruler and world dominator pingu shares how far they've come from just an itty bitty penguin but also sharing a philosophy i also live by that it's not about avoiding being scuffed it's about how scuffed you can get high voltage vtuber hypermox mimi adapts the vtuber grind in the form of a little song but also announcing that she's finally going to be getting a version 2 model done but also asking what are you doing oreo catboy vtuber raisin asks you if he's a good boy to which i say no you're perfect as raisin will be having a 2.0 debut this coming February 3rd. Thanking everyone for all the love on the debut announcement and is super excited to reveal the new model. Fluffy and buff VTuber Daisy Doodles showcases the fine enhancements of what a little bit of shoes effects can do while also giving an update that they are no longer sick, have finally moved to their new home and is ready to get back into streaming. Race Queen VTuber Ashton Martin reminds you that this is their absolute territory. But also, just look at her adorable little zoomy skates. So that's not the only way she be zooming. Receiving this meme edit of what it is like to receive the Ashton Martin experience. And now, back to you, false. Thank you very much, lady. And that's not the only lady we have today. With this piece of fan artwork coming in from Mark D. And this vibrant piece of fan artwork coming to us by way of Hey Kevbo. Thank you both so very much. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like comment and subscribe below we record live on twitch.tv send your vtuber news to our discord and we'll have more things vtubers say for you soon